Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. Anthony Riley and John the Quantum Eraser. I'll tell you, it just doesn't get any dumber than this. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Now, according to these two knuckleheads, pressure is a force. Wait, what? All right, listen up. So we need to, do you, do you accept? And this is a straight question. I need a straight answer. It's not patronizing, but do you accept that pressure is a force? There you go. So Anthony brought it up. Yeah. We'll continue. No, it's not. Pressure is forced by uh, per unit area. That's, that's correct. So when you have gas. See, they're serious. This is serious. That's correct. By this asshat. We can deal with that. I'll continue. Because they continue hammering themselves. Pressure or tire pressure or pressure in your container. And then it explodes because you pierce it or whatever. And it, there's, an, there's an explosion. That movement of the pressure molecule, the pressurized molecules expanding. If mass accelerates, it must be give, accelerated by a force. Negative, F equal MA was false, and I destroyed that during the presentation, but I digress. Wait, you destroyed Newton's second law of motion. And the pressure of the molecules is no longer pressing against the, the tire wall, is it? The tire For example, exploded. one Newton per square meter. He, 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 he thinks by stating one Newton per square meter is a rebuttal or supportive of what he just said before, but Newton is just... A Newton is just SI unit for force. Come on, QE. You aren't really going to go along with Riley on this silly nonsense, are you? Forces are pushes or pulls on an object resulting from its interaction with another object. Pressure is a force distributed over an area. Pressure itself isn't a force. It's a measure of how much force is being applied to an area. By the way, forces have direction. They are vectors. Pressure has no direction. It's a scalar. Got it? And per square meter or is an area. So he's saying basically essentially the same thing. So I don't know what the hell he's thinking. All right? Pressure right. is it's at on this point. Go, Wait a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. At this point, I've abandoned it. Like I said, I've got to this and I've gone, ah, oh, what the hell? So... <laughs> And I didn't pick it up because the football started. Um, so is there, a, is his point that he's going to describe it in the units? It's just like, that seems to be his thing. He's going to the units of pressure and saying, aha, is that, he's got you or I'm lost as to what he's, rather than go through it to the end, it, what is his point, this man here? When... His his point that pressure is not a force, it's a force per unit area, is their point. Both of these clowns. His point to go to go with Newton's, I don't know, because it's the same thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't it's know. It's a force, and then you go to the units. It's not a force. It's the units of the force. That we're describing <laughs> yeah I, I, like you what well, i don't I'm know lost. <laughs> i can't generally is that is that his point that he thinks by describing the units the si you said si units for the force in whichever way there's multi ones with, with pressure in the but that that means it's not a force because I, it's I oh that's just bonkers. I don't I I don't know. You're gonna have to ask him. What he's saying is the same thing over again. Remember he said pressure or they said pressure is not a force, it's a force per unit area. And then he jumps on this screen uh to see that Newton's per meter squared. It, it's just, it's the same thing. He's not saying anything different. I don't know why he went there unless he does unless he doesn't know that Newton's is the SI unit for force. He's screwing himself again. He's just saying the same thing in different uh, words. Kiwi, when I said, how stupid can you be? That was not a challenge. 
Look, pressure relates to force, just like distance relates to speed. If I ask you how far it was to the other side of your trailer park, would you say a quarter of a mile per hour? Of course not. That makes no sense at all. Because speed is not distance. I'll give you another example. What if I ask Tony what the volume of his glass of salt water is? You know, the one he dropped the egg into. Would he say one liter per minute? No, he wouldn't, because flow isn't volume. The relationship between force and pressure is exactly like these two examples I just gave you. You know, it doesn't get a lot simpler than this. Are you sure you guys ought to be even trying to talk about it? Is Look it fair to say that entropy is not a fundamental force? What? Yeah, you'd be pretty safe saying that, given that it isn't. Why are we on entropy? We're talking about pressure, right? We're not. Yeah, but we're not on entropy. We're on force. Yeah, don't go to entropy yet. You'll just cloud it. Okay, I have a point to make at the end then. All right. I don't know where I'm going to end this. <laughs> uh, yeah. One Newton per square meter. A pressure no is a force per, um, per square meter. Meter. Yeah. In order to so have pressure a pressure, is a force, and this is something you don't understand about. Uh, pressure is a force again. then, right? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, uh, it, this doesn't get old with me. I love it. So pressure is not a force. It's a force per unit area. That's their argument. No, it's force what you over just said. area. It's a force yeah. divided an by area. an yeah. area. So it's higher. Yeah, so it's still a force there. Let's try a real world example and see if that helps you guys out. What is the pressure on a wall surface from wind blowing at 25 meters per second? Well, the answer is about 375 pascals. But a pascal is not a force. It is a force per unit area. It is a newton per square meter. We're missing something. We need to know how many square meters we're talking about. How about the total force that that wind exerts against a wall that's 100 square meters? That's about 37,500 newtons. Pressure is not a force. It is force per unit area. Think about it this way. The next time one of you knuckleheads goes to put gasoline in your automobile, go inside and tell the little kid behind the counter that you want to buy $3.75 per gallon worth of gasoline. See what he says. You know, have you thought that maybe, just maybe, physics is not your thing? Maybe you two should take up a hobby that's a little more in line with your capabilities. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget the like and subscribe buttons down there. There's a link to the Patreon and PayPal. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.